rich are getting so much more stupidly yeah. rich over the last couple of years, yeah. and it's because we keep buying up the bullshit. Mm -hmm. And it's like it doesn't matter what the what the bullshit is, whether it's social media or Amazon orders or having the next cool thing or trinket or the yeah. coolest pair of shoes or or whatever. As long as you're spending your money and paying attention to the controversy yeah. and talking about what happened at the Oscars instead of yeah. watching what's happening with their economy. The richest you know I mean? of the rich are not the workers; they're the investors. And that the wealth transfer right now is literally we might as well be shoveling it yeah. to them like we so, might as well be shoveling them anyway things are decent things are decent nice Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Your Future Hand with Biggs and Boggs. I'm Marty Boggs. And I'm Julian Biggs. And we got Spencer on sound and screens. Spencer. Thanks for joining us today, folks. We got a great episode for you. Stick around, like, share, comment, do all the things. Do the and things. let's get right into it. What are we up to today? And how can do we plan things. for tomorrow? Julian. Julian. <laughs> there it goes again. Thank you, Marty. Yes, we're back. We're back in the studio. Thanks, Frank. He's <laughs> a parrot. This parrot, I'm the parrot. Yeah, I repeat things. We came and we just went over this. So uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, Bitcoin printing. It's 19 millionth Bitcoin. So we are over 19 million of the 21 million total. And what so does this mean for Bitcoin, Julian? Oh, that means mass scarcity. It means Dubai. controversy. Also, I, and that's what it means. Does it? <laughs> it's always it going to be controversy. There's going to be controversy. We're going to talk about that too. We're going to talk about how controversy kind of affects uh, human psychology as a whole. Um we're going to, yeah, look at the markets with a little bit of a market scope. We're going to go there first, and we'll go. get into it. Market scope. Market scope. Shh, shh. <laughs> of course, right now we are looking at the Bitcoin versus US dollar chart on the daily time frame. I like to look at the daily and update you guys on the daily because we get a stronger signal and uh, just a little more confidence in the moves that are happening. So what happened last week? We made the move to the top of this resistance box. We talked about breaking through the 200 EMA as we did, as you can see, hitting the top of this box, made an update when we reached the top here, talking about our momentum loss and that it was a good possibility that would retest the 200 EMA and that that would potentially mark our good buying signal. Now, obviously it did. We had a beautiful retest of the 20 and the 200 and things are now moving up and consolidating in this box as we mentioned here. Just so, like you predicted. Just like I predicted. So I don't like to make the predictions. We like to keep it humble here because it does affect people's finances. But yes, we have been pretty bang on. Come on, that's why the people are coming to your future hand, bro. It's true. It's true. Come to your future hand. So we've been pretty close. We've been pretty bang on with our calls here. Uh, I called the bottom there and we are moving up and it, you know, it does take some time. So it's taken a month or two to get going, but we did hit the bottom. I called the bottom and and here we are now at uh, forty six thousand four hundred seventeen dollars. We'll have to look back on the episodes. I think I called the bottom. E <laughs> After I made my purchase and we started moving up, he's like, "Okay, I'll say it. I'll say it. That I was the bottom." It. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so things are looking good. Like I said, um. You know, we're moving up, but uh, we want to look at what was going on with the SPX. So the S&P 500 stock market in uh, the States obviously affects us huge. So what was going on there on the time of that day? So we started Friday uh, moving a bit downward, but you can see that they made a bit of recovery. And at the end of the day on the 15 minute chart, it was looking like it was going to start making some move to the upside again. Uh, what I have at the bottom here, this is the RSI. So this shows the strength in which the direction is going. And now Bitcoin and, and the S&P can really be strongly correlated with each other, but sometimes um, sometimes this will follow Bitcoin afterwards, just like it did when it came down and broke through the 200 EMA just recently when Bitcoin did it in December instead, right? Or January. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, now we're at this point where, where they're both made the, boo the move above the 200 and now... Then. Most likely we'll make a bounce. So Bitcoin has retested the 200. So I believe that could happen here. Um, and it, we could get exactly what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart is this little W underneath the average on the RSI. And now we're going to get the same thing here. So I do believe that we have a potential to retest. So let's go back to the Bitcoin mm -hmm. chart. Um, well, a lot of people are anticipating a crash sometime this year. So, yes. I, I don't think we're going to see <clears> that right away right now. And I don't think the crash is going to be as drastic as people think. And the funny thing is, is that the more people predict a crash, the less likely it, it is to happen. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that a lot of people are talking about it makes yeah. me believe that they're trying to let you, like, basically they're trying to make it so you wait. Don't mm -hmm. buy yet. There's gonna there's a crash coming. Mm -hmm. Wait. Which exactly. means there's probably not a crash coming and buy now. Well, that's... It. Well, Dollar and, cost <clears> average. And that's exactly what happened here. So it's like, you know, everybody, except for me, 
was waiting for <laughs> for 20 for, was waiting for 28k yeah right and we hit uh, at the bottom of 33 um you know and that was just the wick with the wick down so yeah. you know we hit the bottom of 33 i made a nice purchase down there um and you know since we we we've, we've made that move back mm-hmm. back up so everyone mm-hmm. was expecting a crash to to the mid 20s in even january mm-hmm. which obviously didn't happen and even if we go back to some of our episodes in december i was talking about the fact that we would probably see this cool off and a sell off at the end of the year but it wouldn't take as long so the previous bear yeah. markets yeah, were yeah, about yeah. 10 to 12 months yeah and now, now we're seeing this where we just had a small little better market two months, and now we're making these moves up again, right? So, mm-hmm. and it, well, we're the, consolidating mm-hmm. is what's, what's what's happening here. Instead of going up and straight down like every other bull market has, we've gone up, not as high in percentage as we have in the past, yes. but we're consolidating mm-hmm. at a more yeah. mediocre level and seeing shorter, shorter, bear, shorter bear markets. Mm-hmm. So they're lasting two, three months at a time, and then we're getting some mm-hmm. some which means moves in, up. in sense the way always happens, it'll probably get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and for about a year, maybe two for until now. we eventually start seeing more of just an equity style growth. Yeah, and and just exactly which is exactly thing. what happened with so many other. Um, assets that hit the market when they yeah. first hit the market they go up they go down they go up they go down they just go yeah. nuts and then eventually they stable they stable out and then they continue to go up over yeah. the long term yeah. because of inflation and we know that the dollar's going down so this is why we dollar cost average this is these are the fun days these are the fun days of bitcoin so if you're getting in mm-hmm. right now just tr- this is probably going to be about as, as exciting as it's going to get because from here on out it's just going to get more stable what was it so 19 million btc so fully mined it, yeah so fully Which mined the 19 millionth Bitcoin. Only 2 million left. There's only 2 million left. So people need to understand the de- deflationary aspect too. So as the value of Bitcoin goes up, the production of Bitcoin goes down. And as the value of the dollar goes down, the production of the dollar goes up. Yeah. Right. Or yeah. as the production of the dollar goes up, the value goes down, yeah. whichever way you want to look yeah. at so it. So it makes it less valuable because they're making more of it. But Bitcoin right. is, there's so, a certain amount, of, um, there's a certain amount, 21 million, and that's it. It's that's in the it. code. You can't rewrite it. And that's it. It's, and that's, if, that's the reason it gets more valuable yeah. as there's less. So it's becoming a scarce, it's becoming a, a scarce asset. We're basically seeing it take over your fiat currency. This yeah. is the flipping it, this, happening that, that the US dollar is going down yeah. and all the other well, there you know there's other this ones is, too but this is the flipping yeah and it's like oh there's only two two million left am i too late is it too expensive no you're not because it's fractionalized which means that the the last one being printed in i think 2130 or whatever it is mm-hmm. is going to be almost unattainably yeah because it's valuable. having it's having right so every every cycle is half of the, or twice the last sac- cycle 50 percent, right? 50 percent or whatever so it's 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 taken this many years for that percentage it's going to take um, yeah. still another 150 years or something, yeah. 130 so every, years. Every 210,000 blocks, the, the, the reward, the reward for Bitcoin mined is decreased by 50%. Right. Right. So if it was, if it was 25 or if it was 30 Bitcoin in the, in the beginning, uh, at 2009, that means that, you know, after 210,000 blocks right. then that would have gone down to to 15 right, right. whatever or whatever so i can't even remember what the lines the, the up for it to were. stabilize basically yeah. yeah so you know and, and you know now that we're we're this deep into it the 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 the, the rewards released after every 210,000 10, blocks isn't as great mm-hmm. so and, but this is these the these times every 210,000 blocks the having mm-hmm. or whatever it is um but it's is still- when we see these price surges which was which was happening for us last year which yeah. is why we saw that massive run up above sixty thousand mm-hmm. dollars and then the miners sell off which usually creates they, the bear market take so, the profits so this time though the miners didn't not as much nowhere near which tells us they realize too that bitcoin is only going to go up in value yeah especially now with the amount that that's left and so now the am- and, and also just the amount of liquidity in it is is surpassed um, mm-hmm. Anybody that was looking at Bitcoin in 2010 yeah. or 2011 never, well, some people hoped that this would happen. And it's like, honestly, like, but it's unimaginable people, back, back and, then. And it's like now, and it's like, we're starting to see it. So not only in crypto, but other global markets too, people need to be aware of the wealth transfer as, as we pay attention to, to whatever the, the controversy, 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 whatever the controversy or the distraction is at that time. Was it planned? We, was it planned? was it planned? We're so engulfed in the bullshit that we consume every day that we don't see the amount of wealth transfer happening right now. The question and is, we're does seeing it matter? It, we're seeing it in in Bitcoin too, and it's like literally like we keep spending our money, and it's like the, the other people are just like <laughs> <laughs> we're all getting rich. Yeah, you know, like 
That's literally they just the keep eating it up. The markets they just keep eating it up. <laughs> that's the markets right now, and it's literally and it and it keeps going from us, the little people, the poor. I need to, to clean up on aisle four here to the rich. Yeah, I got a little out of hand there. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, it's it's that's literally what's happening. The rich are getting so much more stupidly yeah. rich over the last couple of years, yeah. and it's because we keep buying up the bullshit. Mm-hmm. And it's like it doesn't matter what the what the bullshit is, whether it's social media or Amazon orders or having the next cool thing or trinket or the yeah. coolest pair of shoes or or whatever. As long as you're spending your money and paying attention to the controversy yeah. and talking about what happened at the Oscars instead of yeah. watching what's happening with their economy. The richest you know I mean? of the rich are not the workers; they're the investors. And that are the wealth transfer right now is literally we might as well be shoveling it yeah. to them like we so, might as well be shoveling them money it's crazy all this how all much this controversy being made in these assets. going on uh it's affecting so many people in a negative way uh it's by design they've been doing it for hundreds of years um it's the plan that they you know want to continue uh this is again why bitcoin and blockchain is being shadowed and shunned as much as possible they've been trying to hold it down for as long as they possibly can because with blockchain technology there is no need for controversy there is no there's no place for controversy Mm -hmm. because with with blockchain everything is um, on a duplicated ledger to every participant and everybody knows exactly what's happening so if uh the question is, was it five or was it seven? You can't have 50 people going, it was five. And 50 people going, it was seven. They're going, no, no, it's it's on the ledger. Everybody has it. It was seven. And th- yeah. that's it. Next thing. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. th- there's no, there's no space to get distracted. It's, it's a straightforward, you know, like sp- there is no room for BS on the blockchain. Exactly. No room for BS on the blockchain. Oh, that's it. <laughs> there's Living live on the blockchain. <laughs> no room. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that's the, that's real. There is honestly no room for BS on the blockchain. It doesn't allow it. Everything is completely immutable, uh, and, and and equal for for everybody, and fully transparent for everybody. yeah. And that's so the thing: no BS. equality, transparency, everything. Nothing. No yeah. one's allowed. No one's able to and pull your arm, pull your leg. And that's whatever. why they won't be able to hide this this wealth transfer. There's not going to be just that one percent all laughing as the rest of us are yeah. are literally just struggling to to make ends meet. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, because it, you're being lied to, right? Like, because you don't, you're, no, you're not you're being, being told the truth. To. You're not being told right? the truth. So, so how can you win? How can you survive if you're not being told the right? truth? And it's like, everyone's like, well, inflation's the problem. And then the government's like, well, inflation's not the problem. It's corporate greed that's the problem. Yeah. You're the problem. You're the problem. It's like, Blame no, as many people as this, you can. this system works perfectly for the people that built it and yeah. it will continue to do it. And this is why they don't care what your opinion of the Oscars is. And they don't care what your opinion of Bitcoin is or your opinion of the but war they're gonna give. They're, but they're going to give you as many possibilities as you as they can for you to have an opinion. Yes, because that's what distracts and you. And that's and that's and that's all it is. It's yeah. what what's what can they talk about? That it's like what can they create? Yeah, that you're going to talk about. Yeah, what can they what can they put out there that people will argue about? Yeah, keep them distracted. Keep them distracted. Keep them buying. Keep them consuming. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, yeah. And Anyways. I think we should wrap this one up, but what, another thing that's coming up maybe on the next episode we could talk, talk about it is Web3 and how social media and everything like that uh, really affects everybody's day-to-day and the things that they think are fake or real, but and how Web3 is going to fix that. I think we should talk about that next week. Web3, we should actually, yes. Okay. Uh, so anyway, yeah, hope you bought on the dip there. Things were bang on, perfect retest. Well, we're not looking at the chart right now, but... Uh... Maybe we just it's not real. <laughs> Bigs and bogs out. Bigs and bogs out. Peace. Bigs and bogs. <laughs>